I told the truth to the FBI, and the jury rec clearly recognized that with their unanimous verdict today. Despite being falsely accused, I'm relieved that justice ultimately prevailed in my case. Michael Sussman, once a lawyer for the Hillary Clinton campaign in 2016, acquitted to lying to the FBI over giving them dirt on President Trump, or then candidate Trump, before the election. John Durham, the special counsel, set to look into the 2016 campaign, specifically allegations of illegal spying on the Trump campaign. What appears as though Bob Driscoll is here, even though he's not here on one of our screens. Former Deputy Assistant Attorney General uh, with us. All right, Bob, was this, uh, if you listen to MSNBC, uh, this is vindication and the Durham report's over and nothing wrong happened in 2016. Uh, if you listen to Fox News, it was a jury of Democratic cronies who acquitted Sussman, which is it? Right. Well, I think it's a, well, first of all, I'm a defense lawyer. So a defense verdict is a defense verdict and not guilty is not guilty. So um, my defense lawyer hat says that's true. But I think in terms of the politics and the public discussion, it was very clear that the Durham prosecution team, they proved the narrative um, of, you know, did the Clinton campaign kind of cook up and push this story and, and feed it to the FBI? That, that all clearly happened. But the trial was about one count, one very narrow count of whether or not Sussman in a particular meeting on a particular day uh, with Jim Baker, the general counsel of the FBI, uh, represented that he was not representing uh, any particular client, was there as a good citizen. And, um, you know, no one watching on TV is going to get into the weeds, but there was a lot of pretrial and other things that Baker's statements uh, about that meeting had changed over time. There have been multiple interviews. It wasn't consistent. So in terms of when you have a meeting and a he said, she said, and there's no recording and there's no written record and yeah. there's no notes, and one guy says one thing and one guy says another, it's pretty hard to say that that's beyond a reasonable doubt, and I think that's what the defense team relied on. So but that's much not to say of, that they didn't prove the bar of the case. Yeah, so, so much of the, the Republican narrative has been that, that there's the Durham investigation is going to bring down uh, the Clinton House once right. and for all and expose them as being in cahoots with the FBI. Three people indicted by Durham. Uh, Sussman obviously now been acquitted. Kevin Kleinsmith uh, in August of 2020. Igor uh, Dancheco, November of 2020. One, uh, if Durham didn't get this conviction, uh, is he now done? Well, I think uh, the understanding is that he was going to write a report at some point, uh, which will go to the attorney general who will decide whether or not to release it. So I think he's probably at the report writing phase. At least I haven't seen any news that any other charges are imminent. And I think the loss in this case probably um, counsels against going forward on any others unless he has a really strong case. So I think we'll probably get a narrative type report, like a counter to the Mueller report. And I just can't help but point out the parallels to the Mueller situation in that, um, you know, partisans on both sides were looking for significant convictions of high level people in order to prove their point. And they just kind of never developed, which is a different thing than saying uh, everyone behaved properly and there was, uh, you know, no there there in any case. Yeah, there, there's a difference cases, between having there aspects their... of the narrative that were proven. Yeah, there, there's al yeah. there's always the there there, but a lot of smoke and a little bit of fire, and everybody says that that proves their their point on both sides. Hey, Bob, I'm sorry we got to run, but a great conversation. And uh, the reasonableness okay. is always why we have you back. God, I'm glad to be here. One of the very few level-headed lawyers uh, in Washington, D.C. right there. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.